Hello nerds, it's Joanna and welcome back to Fran Boa, a game I found on Steam that you can find in the description box. In the last episode, we got legs and we know how to use them. Without further ado, we are off to see the wizard, I know right, who the king of this mysterious land called Etherstuff says can return us to our human form. Onward and upward to adventure. Oh look a bug. Hello, sir. What are you doing? Are you doing a job? Are you am I being am I bothering you? Am I bothering you? <laughs> Just standing here do you see? Oh I see. Do you know where the mountain coach friend is? Yes. Can you tell me where it is? Yes. Tell me, please. No. The mountain coaster ramp is only in winter time. What the fuck does that mean? Winter time? What are you talking about? Mm, of course, winter time. What do you think? I can't wait for winter time. I'll die by then. Just like you did. You don't wait for it. You go there. What the... what? <laughs> but how? I'm no good at explaining things. Go down the stairs, then go straight. You'll find the clockmaker. He can explain things. I think he tried with me before. Alright. Thank you, sir. This land is very different. I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Do you understand the language already? Yes, I actually understood what that guard told you. I hope we find the clockmaker soon so we can go to Mountain Cuthrat. Wow, you really did understand. Good following along, Kitty. Hmm, the flag is waving very hard. Hello to you. Oh. Let's go down the stairs. Ooh. These are jagged rock thingies. I wonder what kind of stones these are. They look like crystals. Very shiny. Uh, what does this sign commemorate? Is this a map? Um, okay, I guess we're here. That's the ground! Or maybe we're here. A very big tree! I think that's the castle. So we're probably in this general area. And that is probably Mount Cotram. And that's a boat! Beautiful paper swirls. Okay, doke. So... What does this say? Um, mountain... Books... Hot dogs? That seems to be the way to the market. Okay, that makes more sense. A mountain, a tree, and a little water. It must be the woods. It's the way to the castle and the library. Um, what's over here? Is this the way to the castle or the way to the market? Well, that answers that question, doesn't it, kids? Hello, I'm Fran. What are you doing? One day, I'm Pooter and I'm holding this piece of iron. For what? Oh, for what? I have to deliver a few clock pieces to the clockmaker. You can do all kinds of metallic stuff. If you have some ideas, we can talk about them. And damn, I do it. I'm remarkable, you see. Thank you, sir. Well, I have to keep working. Time's money, you know. Hello. Whew. Can't you see me? I see a little. You have four eyes. Wow. Do I? Do I, though? Smell my publas! Don't smell a stranger's publis, kids. 
It's Poonus. <laughs> oh dear God. <laughs> This has been an interesting conversation. Thread and cloth to make stuff. And buttons. Sounds like clocks. What are you doing? Mmm, working on my clock. Sir, do you know where I can find the great wizard? No, miss. I do clocks. I fix clocks. I listen to clocks. Tick tock. Do you know where the mountain is? The mountain Kutrem only exists in wintertime. Otherwise, it's just a regular mountain. I can't wait for winter. The king said that the wizard would be in Mountain Kutrem. This is making my head hurt. That sounds great. Go to the big clock and change the season. Just change it. You fool child. Where is the clock? Go toward the castle, but turn to your left when you see the stairs. You'll find a big clock on the tree. Good luck. What are you doing? The war is about to start and I can't see meaning in the meaningless. What does that mean? Join me, young one. You'll be rewarded with the gold coin if you come back alive. Come back alive from what? From where? Are you playing foosball? <laughs> you are the Kamalas. I am the Vakola. Valokas. White, black and white as shadows and light. Is this some sort of board game, sir? A board game? Let's immerse in this adventure. You against me. Are we about to play a role-playing game within a role-playing game? I love this. What are the rules? First to place three of the same figures in a diagonal horizontal or vertical line wins. We toss the machinery and see who begins. Are you in? So it's tic-tac-toe. <laughs> Time is gold and I'm very old. Time is important. I'm a clock. I've been around a long time. I just want to have a good time. Because I'm here for a good time. Not a long time. Very well done, little creature. You are a master. I'm really not. I'm really, really not. <laughs> Hello, little root. You are so cute. Oh, thank you. You are cute, too. Ah, shucks. You're so sweet. I'm Fran. And you? Me? I'm not Fran. I'm Zelma, and I want to sing all day long. What's your favorite song, Zelma? My favorite song goes like this. Ah! <laughs> I don't remember any more than that. I learned that in school. It's fun. That sounds very mathematical. I have to go now. You have beautiful fruit, by the way. See ya. Bye. I love you. I have gold. Two golden coins. Good day, sir. Creature. I've seen flying boats, sir. How do they work, I guess? Sorry, the recording thing is right in front of that. Think of them floating on water, but instead of water, it's air. So 
terrible. Like, you idiot. Are you some kind of idiot? These boats only work with these first knees. They're racist, you see. But am I Ithristanese right now? I'm not really sure. <laughs> it's all very ambiguous. I wonder if I can buy things. I want a knife. Okay, bye. Well, I'm not going to buy any shit. <sighs> so I guess onward to the tree. This is a very odd clock. Where are the numbers? It has symbols and colors, but it doesn't seem to show the time. Uh oh, it sounds like something broke. What have I done? Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but how does it work? I guess the time works differently here in either step. Mr. Midnight, do you have any ideas? Oh, the coin is for the clockmaker. I was just doing it for shits and giggles. Not your kind of shit. <laughs> I have a little problem. I broke the... <laughs> I broke the thing that regulates your seasons. <laughs> Sorry about it. The big clock on the tree, it's broken. That's a disgrace, poor clock. What have you done? Please fix it for me. I beg you, I have to go home. I never fix a clock for nothing. Otherwise, my life's time goes to waste. <laughs> Charge one big golden coin per clock. Time is gold, you know. Here, sir, your golden coin. But you have to offer me the job first, all right? Do it, and be polite. Sir Clockmaker, would you please fix my clock? Well, it's not technically my clock, it's everyone's clock. Get to communism. <laughs> in exchange for this piece of gold, and in the name of a time, I guess, before you break my heart. <laughs> please accept my offer. That was an incredible job offer. A plus plus. Let's go to the big clock and fix it. Oh, you're like a creepy spider tree man. Deeply unsettling. How are you always faster than me? You were right, the clock is broken. You can fix it, right? Of course. I'm a clockmaker. Wouldn't be very good at my job if I couldn't fix clocks. <laughs> oh shit. There are like monsters in winter. What is it? Seems that somebody was playing a dirty game around this clock. What do you mean? It means somebody broke it on purpose. Tomorrow we'll break an adventurous clock. Why would somebody break it? To dick with you. Commanders, winter, mountain patrol, the stones, many reasons, miss. So many reasons. What are you talking about? Commanders, the evil darkness, they work for more, and more the terrible black. Commanders are the only ones allowed into this land. The only evil we have around. It wouldn't surprise me if more wants the stone. But what I don't understand is, for what purpose? Those stones are meaningless to him and his kingdom. And the stones are in winter time. Is there more by chance a giant black monster with a goat mask? A dead goat mask? Why, yes, exactly that. I think it's because of him I'm in this land. I'm a human, you know. That sounds made up. <laughs> I also need the stones. They're my way back home. I hope it's not too late. 
Aha, that's why you need to go into wintertime and go to Mountain Katran. Well, yeah, I wasn't planning on telling you my entire life story, but you deduced it. Good job, Sherlock. <laughs> I have to go talk to the Great Wizard and borrow the stones. Well, it's fixed now. I'll give you something that'll make it easy for you. Have you ever played a Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons? It's a lot like that, but not unlike that. It's enough for us to be sued. <laughs> Seasons with it's just a prototype, so it might not work if you're too far away. Remember, time is an infinite layer of reality, so be careful. I'll be careful. Thank you very much. You're a very nice clockmaker guy. Please call me Cockwind. All right, Mr. Cockwind. See you soon. Bye. Huh? Why delay the inevitable? It's going to winter. This is a ladder. I don't have any need to climb that ladder. But maybe I do in springtime. Hello. Good day, living creature. All good. I'm fine. What are you doing? I am smelling this flower like a normal grasshopper human would. Beautiful creation. Are you waiting for somebody? I am waiting for my creator. I don't much care. I d They're a bit sour for my taste, but lemonade is yummy. Lemonade is what I will do with the lemons, obviously. I definitely do not use them to lubricate my various non-robotic parts. That would be weird. We put some other stuff inside, too. Not motor oil or anything. I would love to try flying. Flying? I'd love to try that. You can't rush it. The bar opens in fall and a very awesome dancer will perform. You should come and hang out. Hey! Now that I can control the seasons, I can go into the library! Oh. That's Mr. Midnight. Okay. Hey, what happens if I... Can I take one of your lemons? I'm sorry, lovely. The lemon resources are quite limited. I take all the lemons the basket can carry, which is all the lemons from the tree. Very economical. Okay, bye. Oh, this is the bar. Interesting. Good day, little lady. Can you show me a ticket, please? How do I get a ticket? All oh, these the citizens get a ticket. How, why don't you have yours? I'm not a citizen. Not a citizen. That's new. Too new for me, though. I don't much care for change around these parts. I understand, but what can I do? I really would like to go inside. I don't know. This has never happened before. Guess I'll have to find my own way to get inside. Thank you. Bye. The bar doesn't exist in winter? That's kind of ominous. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder what this is. It must say something important. A sleepy tree. Good night. I'm tempted, but I have to go home. You are at home, my friend. The universe is your home. I farted. Like a normal human would. Wow, there's a lot of toilet humor in this world. <laughs> Okay, bye. <laughs> what a weird place. <laughs> K. 
curiouser and curiouser. A boat? A moved boat? And ice. Hey, a fishing line. This is mine now. And the fishing line no longer exists in other timelines. We're going for a ride! Bran, Bran, I hate water. Don't do this to me. <laughs> and in the next episode of Fran, though, we're going to go fishing, maybe, or something. If you like this video, share it with your friends, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to the Game of Thrones channel. As always, I'm Joanna, this is Franbo, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.